not a freak chicken. As you can see, we're out of the beach today. And it's something totally unexpected. What's well, a good thing I always keep an extra swimsuit in the car, isn't it? I know. But today is Veterans Day, so wherever you are, say hello to a veteran. Give them a hug. Oh, and meanwhile, the President, yes, that's a European country, be austere. Meanwhile, as we approach the holiday season, go out, go spend, and be happy. Meanwhile, we're going to bring on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama warns Italy and Greece that they have to cut back on spending as he addresses America, pushing his spending increases. They, they thought that was unbelievable. They said there was astonishment on part of his left-wing press. You're admonishing them about spending money and that you have to cut back on union pay and all the social programs when you're increasing social programs, killing business, and spending more money. I mean, that, they said that, they said to Carney, well, that doesn't make sense. Well, our country is a different situation because there's nothing, there's nothing mechanically wrong with our country other than the Republicans are trying to destroy it. And uh, a change in government, a change to, to the Democrats being back in power will fix all the problems. They caused the problem, folks. That's why they're not going to put them back in. 11, 11, 11, a great day for marketing for films, but what happened to the veterans? Well, they don't care. Okay, there's virtually no. Okay, Turner Classic Movies is running crappy veteran, crappy war movies today. And, and the military channel is doing secrets of World War II. It's Veterans Day, folks. That's right, it's Veterans Day. And they have totally forgot about that. And Keystone Delay helps Obama rekindle environmentalist support. And it pissed off the unions massively. And, uh, and they said that it's going to take the pipeline and put it in another, put it elsewhere. You know, they said that they, the State Department has absolutely nothing to do with the pipeline being laid. It's a business thing. It's the Department of Commerce. The Commerce Department doesn't want anything to do with it. So Obama dumped it off to the State Department, and the State Department's going to do an 18-month review. Well, there'll be no pipeline. They've already told them, the people have said there will be no pipeline. And then the Democrats, well, this is benefits our country because it will force us into green energy. Uh, who, who owns uh, most of the automobile companies in the United States? The government does. Buick is one of those companies under direct control of the government. They're not even touting their new green cars being green. Oh. Because people will not buy green vehicles because they, you know, they said that, okay, it, 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 it will only take six years to make up the cost of the automobile. And here we come again, so let's do this one as we talk. Because of Obama, time is no longer on Israel's side. I, I know, isn't that something? Because Obama basically is all for the Muslims taking over the world. I mean, the guy he's got, he's trying to suck up the Muslims because they won't accept it. Doesn't work. Here's one that's been here too. You always tell the planes they're coming in. Okay. Right before the, before we started, we had two airplanes that ran really low. We didn't even know if they were going to get past the yeah. beach. And how do you know that this is a? Uh, a 3D camera with a zoom on it because it, you can't swish pan with this camera. Uh. And Nicaragua's Ortega wins landslide re-election. I know. Thanks to Obama, the Democrat, Nick, or, you know, the the guy is back in charge again in Nicaragua, whom uh, who, uh, the, who uh, Reagan kicked out of office. He's a left-wing socialist that believes in communism, so now he's, he's firmly in charge because of Obama. Syrian forces occupy Homs district after selling. Yeah, because the, the basically it's a military dictatorship, and, it, and there's a young general in charge in a country. Okay, if you have a military dictatorship and a country is prosperous, they have a tendency to ignore the fact that a lot of their rights are taken away. Plus, in military dictatorships, Muslims tend to have more freedoms than. Oh, really? Yeah. And despite Obama's support, Palestinian UN bid appears headed for failure. I know. And they said, well, he's not supporting it. Well, did he try to kill it? No. Did he tell him to go ahead and do it? Yes, he did. So therefore, it's called support. But there is no support among uh, most of the major powers to have the, a Palestinian state and a war started. And NBA Union, no deal and no fear of ultimatum either. I know. Because... I mean, it's ridiculous. They're playing chicken with people that basically are willing to shut down. Okay, their money is not tied to basketball like a lot of other sports people are. Their money is in other businesses, so 
that you, you can, if you don't operate a business for a year, it doesn't cost you anything to operate it. So therefore, you don't lose any money, and they take it all off on taxes, what they didn't lose. Will this one come in lower? We shall see. We're playing with airplanes coming over our top of our heads, folks. I know. Europe debt crisis brings down Italy to Berlusconi. Yeah, I brought down the head of Greece. It's going to bring down the people in Spain, the people in, uh, in Portugal, the people in Ireland. All of them are going to, their government's going to come down, and there's, it doesn't make any difference. You can't, you can't, okay, what you can do is cut benefits. You can't cut salaries, which is what they're doing. They're uh, trying to cut people's salaries in those countries by like 20%. And, you know, you get a bird hand view of airplanes bottom to come in. We're waiting for that airplane that hasn't come in yet, folks. I know, that that comes in. I know. Uh, you can tell the pilots that have been here, the pilots that haven't here come right over the top of the sand dunes. And Kane Bell, he won't be forced out of the 2012 campaign. Uh, because what happens is he continually gains his strength. Because he's not one of them and because, I mean, the Republican pundits want him gone. They want him gone because they want somebody in that they can control. I mean, when you have O'Reilly, when you have the the people at the top of the food chain totally against Cain, well, he doesn't have any experience. Well, Abraham Lincoln didn't have any experience. Uh, George Washington didn't have any experience. Most of the people that run our country have not been people that had foreign policy experience or other. But they've been businessmen or landowners or things like that. But a business, with heaven forbid we put a businessman in that's got one message. Look at this guy, he looks like he's coming in pretty low. I know, but that's, uh, I, I can't get it to tell me over there, though. Although, we do have a big riptide out there. I don't, probably can't see it with the water swirling around. He's not lower than some of those other ones. And Olympus Investment Office, they haven't paid $1 million. And that's something. That's Japan. Oh, I mean, look, he's going south now. That company keeps getting worse. Yeah, he's going south. And they, they, bear, they bear to the right a bit. I mean, oh, this like, is oh, another one coming in high. Close? Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, this one's... I know. How do you like this? is an unusual newscast for us. That's still coming in a little bit. Actually, that one's on the high side. Oh, yeah. He's got to come in real high, folks. I mean, he is nosing her down a bit now, but uh, he is coming in. We've had him come in 10 foot over the top of the sand dunes behind us, not realizing that that's, that's uh, that high behind the bank. So. And Florida jury awards $100 million of increased effect of UK. Yeah, well, they try to get it. That's another problem because they just declare bankruptcy and you can't see the assets of a church, so. A U.S. soldier found guilty in Afghan civilian drill killing. Well, what's going to happen is the Obama administration basically finds all the soldiers guilty. They're, they're, you know, it's very hard to get military personnel off, but they always win when they go to the civilian courts because our, the court system says you cannot find these people guilty over there. This is a... We have an immunity, which is why we're there, and it can only be tried in a, in, a, in a court here. You can't be tried in a court there. It's a violation of the Unified Military Code of Conduct. SAT cheating probe in New York expanded to ACT. You mean people cheat on the SAT? Oh. Well, oh, yeah. No. I actually did that stupid thing not knowing that I didn't have to. My grade point average was high enough. I already had accumulated. I went and did it. And then I found out I was actually pretty good on those tests because I could, I could guess better than the other people. This one might be coming in a little bit lower. Oh, yeah, that one looks really low. I know. If there. we can see his t numbers on his tummy, he's been low. But sometimes they see us and they start to pull the nose up. So. And MF Global clients pay shortfall despite protection. Okay, the problem is Obama has basically screwed bondholders. And he's told other countries in the world, screw the bondholders also. So there are no protections for bondholders that he knows himself up and he's moved his plane to the right so I know look at that we're hoping to catch one coming really low so yeah this oh, one's the lowest one that we've seen yet but still well, the, the lowest one we've seen since we started turning on the camera yeah we, when we didn't have the camera on they were really coming in low but they see us and they see, hey. How oh, do you yeah. really think? Come on. No, no, they're watching down. They can, if they, they can like see, not as low as they're coming in. We don't look like we're oh. little pin. And Microsoft and AOL Yahoo strike at Alliance. Which they'll never let stand. Because that's, uh, they probably called in. Somebody's taking pictures of us down there. 
It's called we're on the beach and they're coming in over our sand, so. This is cool. I know, because we're in the business, it's folks. The B-roll of it. You sit there and take this stuff and use it for movies you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> and it's 3D action. So I can't help it. This is public beach. If they don't like it, then tell people they can't come down here. So, no. no. They did move them. They did move them over just a little bit, though. 